Hey everyone, Tristan back with another video. And in this video, I wanted to talk about what my predictions are for what Apple is going to do with the next generation of the AirPods, both the AirPods Max, as you see here, as well as the in-ear AirPods. I've got both the current AirPods Pro right here, as well as the AirPods 2, I guess, second gen right here as well. And I've been very happy with all of these. It has been rumored that Apple plans for a revamp of their AirPods lineup in 2024. So what are my predictions for what they're going to change? Um, first of all, I think they're going to change the form factor of the AirPods Max a little bit to make them a bit lighter. My prediction is that they may get rid of the metal aluminum housing here and maybe make them, make them plastic. And also I think they're probably going to make them look a little bit more like the um, Apple Vision Pro, the new um, VR headset that Apple has announced in terms of styling. Um, so maybe they're gonna be like white plastic um, or similar. So they're gonna have a similar style, I think, to the uh, Vision Pro, just sort of my prediction there. The other thing they're going to probably do is go completely lossless wireless with uh, the AirPods. As you know, right now, the current AirPods Max and most of the AirPods line are not completely um, lossless. Um, although I think with the new USB-C version of the AirPods Pro um, in the spec, they do show that it can do a lossless, um, but it's kind of buried in the spec. So they're probably going to go completely lossless, which is going to be really good because up to now, we don't really have a lot of wireless headphones you know, that can do full lossless. They all use kind of a lossy codec. So that'd be really nice if they sort of um, transition to being um, completely lossless with their full lineup. And of course, they're probably going to improve things like the noise cancellation, as well as the microphone quality on all of the AirPods as well across the board. Now the lossless is probably only going to be for music because with the spatial audio that the AirPods provide, that can't be lossless. Um, that codec for the spatial audio is pretty much not a lossless format. Um, so when you're listening to spatial audio, you know, with, th with the 3D effects and all that, um, that is not lossless. And in general, just talking about the Apple AirPods and kind of a little bit of a long-term review, I have to say that I've been pretty happy with them. When I'm doing like audio file listening or listening more intently, I don't tend to use my AirPods. I tend to use my home rig, which is currently still the Odyssey LCD5 headphones, as well as the Cord Hugo TT2, as well as the M Scaler. So that is my main rig for um, music. But for movies, I really do enjoy my AirPods Max a lot. I enjoy that 3D, you know, spatial audio quite a bit. It provides a really good kind of home theater experience with a really good bass impact and all that without having to blow out the neighbors with, with using like a subwoofer and speakers. Um, so it's a really good experience and I've been enjoying that a lot. So I use these a lot um, for movies. I also use these for more casual listening when I want to you know, be more portable around the house and just move around. I will use it for that. Um, also, when I want to use noise cancellation, if there's some noise um, like leaf blowers outside and stuff like that, I will put these on and they have really good noise cancellation um, and stuff like that. So I'm really happy with these, although I do think that they could be a little bit lighter. And then the same goes for like the AirPods Pro. Mostly I use these for traveling. Um, they're just really light and easy to just throw in a pocket, take with you on a plane, and they provide really good noise cancellation for when on a flight. I've posted in other videos before that my kind of audio rig of choice is going to be like AirPods and just my iPhone for when I travel. Um, and that's mainly for the noise cancellation, like on a plane with these. Um, you know, part of audio quality is lowering that noise floor. The lower the noise floor, the better your audio quality is going to be. And I just find that it works really well. Um, the noise cancellation on the AirPods Pro works really well for that reason. Um, you can really enjoy and hear your music a lot better, like when on a plane or when commuting on a bus or subway with these. Um, than you can without something with noise cancellation. So, you know, I really, so I really like it for that. And then I also have the AirPods 2, which are the ones that don't go all the way inside your ear. They just kind of go a little bit in your ear. And I use these for podcasts and just more casual listening around the house and also for phone calls. If I don't want to hold my iPhone up to my ear all the time, I'll just use these for a lot, a lot for phone calls. So they all kind of serve their own little um, purpose, and I like them all. But it'll be interesting to see what Apple does with the next version of um, AirPods. I think they're most likely going to come out with AirPods Max replacements first because uh, these are still the version one and they've been out for a few years now. And these are the ones that are like most um, ready for an update. 
So I think that's what we're going to see first, just a whole new um, headphones, a uh, whole new AirPods Max headphones, and that'll be very interesting to, to see what they come up with there. But yeah, it has been a complaint uh, with the AirPods Max that they are a bit heavy. Um, that's definitely a common complaint that we have seen. That's a complaint that I have as well. They just are a little bit heavy. Um, they're not uncomfortable. I mean, you can wear them for long periods of time. Here, I'll put them on. You know, you can see them here. They're, they're not uncomfortable. They fit the head and the ears, you know, really well, and they, they cover your ears and all that quite well. Um, they are just a little bit heavy, though, so if they can do something to make these a little bit lighter um, and more sort of in the weight of, say, like the Bose noise-canceling headphones or the Sony noise canceling headphones more more something like that weight um, i think that they would e even sell a little bit better but that's really my only complaint with the airpods max so if you've watched this far do me a favor and let me know what time it is in your area in the comments field and also do you like the airpods i'd love to hear your comments and maybe what your predictions are for the next version of airpods which uh, should probably be announced um, sometime in 2024 most likely it'll be more kind of in the early 2024 but i'm not 100 percent sure on that but it will definitely be interesting to see and if you are watching this in the future when these uh, new airpods have been announced already please leave a comment as well and let me know if i was right or not with my predictions thanks for watching and um, yeah see you in my next video